Hi, and welcome to this Dream Tailor Partners presentation on setting up the new JobKeeper payment support payment in your MYB Essentials data file. The first thing we're going to do is actually create an income item where you will be able to allocate the funds you receive from the tax office, making up the JobKeeper payment. To do this, we go to the right corner where you have your file name. Select that to pull down the list and choose Accounts List. From your accounts list, the first thing we're going to do is take note of the number system and find a unique number that we can use. In my case, I'm going to use 8-1500. I then go to Add New and enter that number, 8-1500, and give it an appropriate name, such as Government Grants Job Keeper. The type we select as other income. The tax rate we select as non-reportable and click save. We can then see our file name, our new job code has appeared down here. We can from here select dashboard to go back to the main screen. The next step is to create a new pay item to allocate the payment to the employees in our payroll system. To do this, we go payroll, pay items, and select create earning. We'll leave the type as a standard earning line, and then we'll give the name to the payroll item. In my case, I'm going to call it job keeper payment. And for the pay slip, I'll use the same name. The rate I'll set at fixed amount and the amount I could either leave at zero or at the default amounts which would be $750 for a weekly payment or $1,500 for a fortnightly payment. The tax rate must be taxable as this payment is a taxable payment to employees. The next step here is pay superannuation on earnings. Generally, this would not be ticked, and that's because there is no requirement to pay superannuation guarantee on the job keeper payment. At the bottom here, we choose ATO reporting category and choose gross payments, so that the payment will appear correctly on the pay-as-you-go summaries and our single punch payroll reporting. Once that's complete, hit save. At this point, we actually want to add that payroll item to our employees we're wishing to pay. To do this, we go to the payroll tab at the top again and go down and select employees. Choose the appropriate employee, in my case, John Smith, and then go to the pay items and earnings and deductions tab. Selecting that, I can add another earnings item. So where it says add earnings, push the drop down box button and choose JobKeeper payment. And now that has appeared with the default figures. At this point, I can hit save and it returns me back to the list of employees. If I had other employees, this payment was applicable for, I would continue that for each one of those employees. Now we have set up our payroll codes and allocated them to the appropriate employees, we can simply have a look at how a pay run would look. In our case, we'll go to payroll and enter pays. Here we have a pay run here for John that we set up earlier. If I click resume pay run, I can now see the new JobKeeper payment coming up down the bottom. Now, this figure can be adjusted to be the correct figure appropriate to what their normal other wages are. And then once corrected, you can save the pay run and process the pay. We hope this found this session informative. If you've got any further questions, feel free to contact our office to seek further advice.